Hi everyone, today we will talk about Hypar. Hypar is a flexible cloud-based platform for designing, generating, and sharing building systems. And also it integrates existing workflows by supporting common formats like IFC, Rhino, JSON, and so on. It is also a place where algorithms could be shared within the community and it has a growing number of open source resources. To log in the platform, first I'm going into hypar.io and signing in with my account. At the start page, at the top, you can find tutorials, developer guide, and at the below, you can reach your workflows and functions. Hypar works with workflow and you are adding functions into them. To start a project, let's create a new workflow right now. From the function library, I'm searching for location function to find out my site in the map. You can go around the map and after you are done, click on it. Choose a location will appear on the right screen. Let's import a DXF file. After having the file inside Hypar, we can see all the layers and it is possible to hide them by removing the mark or make them visible by marking it. Let's position the drawing as default as a place in the center. Now I'm changing it to the manual mode and by entering the values for X and Y, I can place my drawing. I will use the drawing to make an envelope. So I'm searching for envelopes by sketch function from the function library and let's sketch it. The XF drawing is like a guideline there since I can snap it while sketching and afterwards I'm adding multiple envelopes on top of each other. You can find all the necessary inputs for the function at the left hand side under the selected function title. Here I'm giving the values for height and name. By the way it is also possible to edit the polygon we had drawn afterwards. If you need any change, feel free to do that. And now let's add levels by envelope function. This function will add levels to selected envelope and keep in mind that hyper functions work with dependency. Therefore, you need to be sure about the order of your functions. Here, if we had called levels by envelope function before we had created the envelope, it wouldn't have worked. Afterwards, I added the following functions in an ordered way, like curvebar sketch, floors by levels, and facade grid by levels. It means that depending on sketch, I have created a core, and depending on levels, I have created floors and facade grid. And now I'm adding curtain wall, facade, bar grid. Let's input the required values such as spandrel height, mullion width, glazing material, and so on. I couldn't have my curtain wall uh, right now. If you have input that are contradicting between functions, Hyper will give an error. So I need to fix that and I'm fixing right now. So here is the result. My building with its floors, core and curtain wall is ready.